Hello everyone and welcome to another super science video of the Mass Dent Regional Library. I'm Miss Stephanie, one of the librarians at the Youth Services Department here, and today we're going to be doing experiments on light and color. Now light is a type of energy that travels on moving waves. Uh, here it mostly comes from the sun or the light bulbs that are lighting this video. Now color is a little more specific. It's what a person sees when light hits reflects off an object in a certain way. And some people can even see color, or they can see like just certain colors like red or green, which is called color blindness. And today's experience, we're just gonna show you guys the different ways that light can be shown and how even though like how different types of light can make objects look very different from each other. So our first experiment is called Box of Rainbows. And what you'll need is a tissue box, um, something that you find around your home, four CDs or something that reflects light like this, duct tape, and you'll need a pair of adult scissors for both of these experiments today. And also, you'll need a flashlight. And for the second experiment, the jelly bean jumble, it's handy if you have three flashlights on hand, but if you can't, you can just change out the color filters that we'll be making just with one flashlight. Also, you'll need a sharpened pencil, you'll need rubber bands, You'll need three different types of cellophane, red, blue, and green to reflect the primary types of light. And I'm using jelly beans, but if you don't have jelly beans around, try M&Ms or Skittles or some other type of color candy. Then you'll need a shoe box or even I'm reusing this tape dispenser box for my experiment as well. So, And a list of all the materials for each experiment will be shown before the video of them. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's start with our box of rainbow experiment and just get our old tissue box. If there's any plastic right here, you can just rip it out. It usually comes out pretty easily. And then what you can see I did is I opened one end of the tissue box and then I cut a hole with my scissors. So let me show you. I'd already cut them, but what I did was I just basically poked a hole. If you have a sharp pencil, that works too. And then I just cut a hole. It doesn't have to be very big, just big enough where you can see into, and then right below it, I cut a little notch too, so when you put them together, you have the hole. Now, but before we tape this shut, what we need to do is put our CDs in, and here's our CD, and as you can see, it's shiny, and well, you may be wondering how rainbows happen, and they happen when light passes through water, which is a type of prism, and prisms bend the white light, so it separates into seven colors. Now, in this case, the CD is kind of our prism, and the light waves bounce off the tiny ridges in the CD. And one CD is bright enough, but let's see if we can put even more in our box to create even more spectacular rainbows. So, so what you're going to do is you're going to turn the CD over to the side that's not shiny, and then we'll get some duct tape. I'm just going to rip two pieces off. And um, if this is a little tricky, get an adult to help you tear it or get some masking tape and cut off some pieces. So I'm going to put them on the back of my CD. And then I'm going to take my box and I'm going to slide the CD in there and press it down on the thing. So here you go. And then take my other CDs. I've already put tape on these. I'm going to slide them in. And try to cover that this round part right here. Try to cover it with the other CD. So I'm going to press that down. Then take a third. Put that in here. Press it down. And let's do one more. Okay. Move it over just a little bit. There we go. That's better. Okay. So then we'll tape our end of the box shut. And then you don't need too much, just enough to keep it from the flap from pulling up. There we go. Okay, so then what you're going to do, you are going to look through this right here. You're going to take the flashlight, any size is fine, and plant in there. And then, as you can see, there's different types of shiny rainbows. They're even more than we just saw one CD in there. Now it's kind of light out so I think that it'd be a good idea to try this experiment in the dark and I bet we could see our rainbows even better. So let's go to a dark place. 
All right, so we're down here in the storage area, and I'm about to turn off the lights. Let me cut my flashlight on first. There we go. And we're going to see what have, how these rainbows turn out in the dark. So give me one minute. Let me turn off the light. All right, so I'm shining it through the top. Oh, you can. it's a little hard to see on camera because of the glare, but here, let me do it this way. It might be a little easier for you guys to see. But you can see all the really cool rainbows. Just like, And what's fun about this is just move your flashlight around to get different angles move the cds as well as you can see i'm moving a couple of the cds and see what other different types of rainbows you guys can make with your box of rainbows all right so we're going to do our jelly bean jumble experiment experiment now and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut a hole in this shoe box and any size box works well it the lid a shoe box kind of has thinner cardboard so it's easier to cut but if you're having a hard time just get your adult to help you now take the small end and you're going to cut just a small hole right here and it's a little hard but not too bad oops all right and then i'm going to fold this out a bit and i don't need to cut this one completely i just need to make it so it folds up and i'm going to take a piece of tape and put it underneath here so it'll stay okay so then what you'll do is you'll take your pencil and you're going to mark make some light marks where it lines up and then you're going to cut another little flap. So let me get this closer. Okay, so I'm going to fold this down and I'm going to get some tape to put under here too, so it'll stay. All right, so we've got that part and then put this on top of each other. And what you, your goal, uh oh, I need to make mine a little higher, there we go is to have a little slit that you can look through. So, and then we, the top part, it, you need to make it so you can put your jelly beans in and s have the flashlight filters for this part. Now, take your flashlight, because each flashlight's a different size, and I'm gonna trace the top of it. Okay. Then I'm going to poke it with my pencil. So it makes it easier for me to cut it out. Okay, let me get this out. All right, have a little, tr there we go. So I'm gonna cut out my hole. And you just, you might, you're probably gonna need some adult help with this one as well. Just to get, cause you want the hole to be big enough where you can see it through put the jelly beans in so actually hold on a second um i'm having a little trouble with this so i'm gonna go grab the other box that i made earlier for to finish off this experiment hold on one second okay sorry about that now um as you can see i've cut a hole the size of this flashlight and we have a hole right here where you can see through now the next part is we need to make filters for our flashlight because this is just regular old white light right now and we're gonna start with the green. So get your green cellophane out. And then you're just gonna cut a small square or a rectangle, it doesn't have to be perfect. There we go. Move that out of the way. Now, we have our cellophane. Now put the flash, one of the flashlights, if you have more than one, and then you're gonna take it up and you're gonna crumple the cellophane around it like this and take a rubber band and put it over the flashlight because we want the cellophane to stay because we're creating a green filter because it's gonna help us to show, so you can see it's a light green now. And so you'll do this and then you'll do the same with your red cellophane piece. Cellophane piece. You got some red light and we've got blue. 
because blue, red, and green are actually the primary colors of light. And we think the primary colors are red, blue, and yellow, but in this case, it's blue, green, and red. So, in our last part of the experiment, let's get our box back out. All right, and that hole we made, you're gonna take some jelly beans and pour them in. And then what we're gonna do is, we're gonna shine the different color lights through here, and then through here, you're gonna see how the jelly beans actually change color. Now, this is an experiment, I think it's gonna work better when it's dark, so let's go to the storage area and so we can see this a little bit better. Okay, so let's get started on the second part of our jelly bean experiment. Now, we have the jelly beans in here. You can see it's a little dark, and we have our little opening. And as you can see that the white light, that you can just see the jelly beans, regular colors, and there we go. Now, let's, first of all, let's cut off the light so we can see this a little better. Let me get the switch. Okay, so there we go. Now, let's switch it to the blue. So let me get the blue out. Oh, look how they're different colors now because the light is it's going through the blue light filter and it's reflecting the light in different ways. So let's do the red now. I'll cut this off. Turn this one on. Right so easier for me to see. Okay. Oh, don't they look a little different now? Too? And let's do our green. Okay, let me cut the red off. Okay, oh, we can't even see the color of our green jelly bean anymore. And that is because the flashlight, where well, the first one created white light, and a green jelly bean absorbs all colors but green. And But if you put a green self in place, which I did, over the flashlight, then it's going to absorb all the colors except for green, which means that no green can hit the green jelly bean. So it looks black instead. So you guys just have fun. Um, if you have different color cellophane at your place, then you can use it and just see how they turn the colors different shades. All right, well, I hope you really enjoyed those experiments of light and color, and I hope you guys kind of tweak things on your own, trying different things to see what kind of results you get. So I'm going to share two books that I found when I was making this video. The first is actually where both of today's experiments came from. It's called Super Simple Science Experiments with Light and Color. And what I like about this is it has experiments that are a little basic, but some that are a little harder too, and just ones that are very, like, not too, not too hard to set up, but like you can do a lot of different things with them. This one is called Bending Laser Beams. And I thought if you happen to have a light pointer at home, laser pointer at home, that would be a great experiment to try. And also this one, you could actually use the same materials that you use for the jelly bean experiment. It's like a color show where you use the cellophane and you put the flashlights and you try to mix the colors together. And it, after each experiment, they have all the science ideas that were used in that experiment and I like it because it has a lot of fun exper experiments and there's a lot of good information in here as well. And then for my other book I decided to choose a chapter book. This is called A Wish in the Dark by Christina Suntrombat and this was if you can see this medal this is a Newbery Honor book which means that it won an award for being a very good story and this story is about a fantasy world called Cha Chatana and in this world light only comes from one source which is a man called the governor after a great fire happened 50 years before the start of this book and so and people can survive off of it but no one else can get light any other way because fire is now forbidden now, Pong, one of our two main characters, was grew up in a prison, and he one day he escaped because he was trying to just have a better life for himself because he would always be tainted by the fact that his mother was a criminal. And after his escape, Nock, who was the prison warner's, warden's daughter, tries to find after him. And what happens is they're trying to like find out the heart of like why Kit is only the governor the one that created this light. Can we create? lie to ourselves and what is really justice because Pong didn't cr cr commit the crime his mother did and Nock is kind of wondering too like is the governor's rules really the right thing 
And it's a great story. It's a little on the thick side, but the story goes by so fast. Um, the main characters are very well done. All the secondary characters are very interesting as well. And the ending wraps up the story very nicely. So I would highly recommend this book, chapter book if you want a really good story about light. Thank you so much for joining me for this month's super science video. I look forward to sharing more of you soon. Have a good day. Bye.